Hi, I'm Casey and I'm the Outreach Coordinator at UFO, as well as a Hep C test counselor. This is a video about how to use the Rapid Finger Prick Hep C test. We'll show you how the test works, how to do a consent and risk assessment with a participant, and how to disclose results. With the rapid hep C test, it takes only 20 minutes before a participant can be informed of his or her test results. So there's no week-long waiting period. Keep in mind that the rapid test is an antibody test, which will only tell you if a person has been exposed to the hep C virus. Your participant will need a second viral test to determine if they are currently infected with the hep C virus. At UFO, we used to do blood draws only for hep C testing, and we were a little nervous about switching to the rapid test. At first, our concern was that it would be too intense for our participants to find out results in 20 minutes. But as it turns out, more often, our participants prefer it. At UFO, we put together little kits with everything we need for a test. We call them caboodles. These include the Orisher Finger Prick Test Kit, Wand for Blood, Stand for Tester, and the Tester, Lancets to poke the finger, Chucks, which are pads that we pre-cut into small squares and put them under the participant's hand, alcohol wipes, gauze, band-aids, gloves, and of course, a sharps container. Now let's proceed with a Hep C rapid test. My name's Casey. My name's Rich. Nice to meet you, Rich. Nice to meet you too, Rich. The way I like to think about Hep C infection is that if somebody who has Hep C's blood makes it into our bloodstream, that's a real big risk. Okay. okay? Yeah. Given that, have you had any risk for Hep C ever in your life? Um, maybe when I was getting a tattoo a while back or something like that using drugs or fighting maybe or something like that. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Like I said, anything that could get your bloodstream in contact with somebody else's blood is going to be a risk. Any other questions? Um, you said it takes 20 minutes, so that's going to tell if I have it or not, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how are you doing with that? Like getting your test results in 20 minutes. Like how would you feel? Tell me a little bit about how you feel if it's it was better negative. Than, it's better or than waiting a week or two or something. All right, Rich, so I'm just gonna put this down and get everything all set up. Here are some of the simple things that we've learned at UFO that make the testing process a little easier. Be prepared. Have everything you need to conduct the test ready before the participant arrives, like our caboodle. That puts them at ease and increases confidence. Ask them to move their arm. That helps the blood flow to the finger. Use the side of the finger. Ask participants if you can look at their hands. Fingertips have more nerves, which means more pain, and are often calloused and not good for finger pricks. Clean up as you go. You can use the 20 minutes while the test is going to clean up the space, fill out your paperwork, and get ready for disclosure pulling together any referrals or materials that may be helpful. You tested negative for the hep C antibody, okay? And so that means that there are no antibodies for the hep C virus in your blood at this time. And because you mentioned that the last time you could have been infected was a year ago, this test is totally accurate. Okay. This has been Hep C Rapid Testing with UFO Presents. For more information, you can go to the UFO website at ufomodel.org. If you have other questions, contact us at the email or phone number listed. Thanks for watching and stay safe.